Hey guys. Um, no, it's not February yet. I just got bored. I got finally done. Was up late last night packing some items. And it's cold in Mobile. Unusually cold. It got down to freezing. So I'm in warm and got caught up on my work for a change. That's rare. I wanted to tell you guys what happened last night. So I've got a lot of my inventory in the office. Probably more arbitrage is done in cells, and I think that's been the case for a lot of collectors. It's, I guess, the pitfall of our addiction or our hobby, whatever we choose to call it, right? So I got bored, and as you see over here, I have Cabbage Patch dolls. You know they're going to be valuable, right? Right after baseball cards. Whatever. No, my mother, she collected these. Actually, she believed they were going to be worth money, and I tended to believe her back in those days. When she passed away, I inherited them. I couldn't just let them go to run, and that's probably what would happen. So I kind of keep them up as a, a reminder of her. But I also had these two other figures I'm about to show you that were sitting right there. And I got bored, took a break, and said, oh, I want to look them up. I haven't really looked them up, see what they're worth. If you've ever been to Chuck E. Cheese, then you may also be familiar with a pizza chain called Showbiz. All right, now, of course, that's kind of like a Dave & Buster's, but with pizza for kids. Ironically, I always remember this, adults could drink there. And a lot of times when I'd go to a friend's birthday party or something as a little kid, I remember the, the adults being drunk. But that was okay by me because they were drunk, giving us money. We'd buy tokens. We'd go crazy, right? So it, it was pretty cool. I think that's why my generation is so enamored with Dave & Buster's. They play commercials here all the time. And there's not even one for hours away. It's cruel. Anyway, so these, I had this one, I think this one's, I forget his name, there was a name, you know, I never paid attention to, and there's another one, and I had two of them. So, this would have been when I was a kid, so a long time ago, circa 1981, in fact, so that's a long time ago nowadays. You had to have a ton of tokens and tickets to get this, you know, it was like one of the most expensive things that you could get. And as a kid, you wanted it because that was the most expensive thing. You didn't care what it did. You just had to have it to tell your friends, look what I got. And, and I did, evidently. So I got bored and looked it up. Now, I kid you not, you can look this up on eBay. All right. I don't think that I saw any for sale or maybe not that many, but I looked for what they had sold for. $69, $70, you know, a pop per doll, mind you, in worse condition. So nine inches, I verified the, you know, tags, exactly the same thing. Unbelievable. And we're talking auctions. So these people are bidding up and they're, they're also accepting the price that I saw. I think I saw one where they had best offer, but that's not how the person got it. So I didn't know. I've been sitting on this for a minute. I wouldn't necessarily say I see this becoming a niche because simply there's not that many that I saw, you know. Now, the Trapper Keepers, I, you may recall, I, I told you I saw old 80s Trapper Keepers, you know, with a unicorn and stuff going for a lot of money. That is a niche, you know. It, it was already there. I just didn't realize it. If anybody did, please let me know. I'm missing something, you know. Hey, guys. Sorry about that abrupt break. Uh, I couldn't make this up if I tried, so please try to believe me. Uh, this is not a marketing ploy. I couldn't have planned this any better and normally if I try to it would fail miserably so as you know we were talking about the two dolls from Showbiz Pizza I had the ever famous cha-ching go off on my phone so stopped the film to see what it was and I kid you not again I, I couldn't make this up I had sold those two dolls now like I said I had listed those things late last night early this morning it was a pretty uh, long night and so they haven't even been or hadn't been posted for 24 hours not even 12 hours I believe so they sold outright no no best offers I uh, had them listed as a, a flat rate I figured at 60 bucks a piece that you know if I sold both of them together for a hundred maybe I'll get a rid of them the first month Wow. Rock of Fire Explosion Duke LaRue and Fats Plush Dolls. How could I have forgotten that? I had to take a minute to really just wrap my head around that. So, again, not, not, not bragging, definitely. But let it be motivation to you. So, 
Uh, if these things were hot commodities all the time and I didn't know it, somebody let me know because I am definitely not in touch with what's going on. But I just happened by chance to look at them <laughs> just, and I listed them. And so far, I, I I think that was, no. well, no, no. It's a best sell definitely so far for January. I was, I'm still in 2017, but somebody's conflicted. <laughs> Had that happened yesterday, I think that would have been one of the, yeah, that would have been the highest sell for the, yeah, for the month. Crazy, right? So, yay me, yay you. Get motivated, get excited, and for God's sake, go through your inventory because there's, there's no telling what else is in there. Yikes. Peace.